Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to talk about the conditional statements. So if condition. So here, um, that's an example of using if condition for the array number. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. So um, first, create a generic model. So I'm going to draw an uh, extrusion and uh, make array and then create a parameter for this array so let's call it number so uh, instance is one and okay so now uh, we all know that we can't have this now uh, array number one if I type in one it will say um, invalid value right? but sometimes when we use some formula we might get the one or even negative so to um, so what we can do is uh, create another parameter. Let's call it number two. Okay, and uh, make sure so int integer. Okay, so what we need to do is we use number two to control this, but when uh, we we need to make sure uh, this number is uh, minimum two. Okay, so what we can do is use if. So if oh sorry if number two smaller than two then it will become two otherwise it will equal number two so with this formula so we now we can see we can have this number two even one is still two so if I type in 3, it will become 3, and type in 5, it will become 5. And if it's 0, it's still at least 2. So so uh, the, your, your family won't break. Okay, so now this is a very uh, quick um, example of if condition. So another one, I'm going to show you another one. So here we have a, oh, not this one. So this one, we have a, a um, so it's about planning so we have a minimum garden area so for depending on different lot size we have a minimum a different minimum percentage of the uh, set aside as a garden area so we just we are going to more, uh, create a I'm going to create a generic uh, annotation so okay so first delete that one and then first we can create label so okay so label and place it here so here it's same as the family type so so just create any uh, parameter here it will show in the uh, family types and any if, and if a parameter created in there it will show here so create a fam uh, parameter so then let's call it so let me just go back to there so what we need is a lot size okay so lot size uh, of course area so make sure use the correct type of parameters area okay so um, instance and uh, let me change this to others and then go click this so then um, prefix say lot size and uh, also let's edit parameters unit format so here I'm going to use square meter and uh, square meter okay and uh, okay so now we have this one uh, you can I'll just change to left and then roughly place it here so okay so the next one we need uh, is minimum percentage okay so go this time I go to family types okay the same so create a parameter let's call it minimum minimum percentage uh, this time uh, use number so percentage is a number okay instance okay so and okay so now we, you can you can copy this okay so you can copy this and edit label so just need to move this back and then move 
percentage here and then this time just uh, go edit the unit format um, check that and then change this to percentage so I'll use um, maybe 35% not that zero that's fine and then have that single so okay okay and then or maybe I'll just add some text in the um, minimum percentage and okay so we have we have two so I'll place it uh, left middle top and I'll place it here okay so I have one here one here why it's not long okay yeah okay good so let's test let's create a project and see what this looks like in a project so if I load this into a project so this is it so it's uh, some annotation you can type in here so like 900 square meter so and then what we need is a formula in here so let's go back to this and go family chart so here mm, percentage so um, let me close this and move this to here so we, we need to build a formula to calculate this for us okay so go and family types so here yeah, if if so in here actually it says 400 to 5 uh, 400 to 500 actually like if the lot size is smaller than that 400 is still 25 so here I'm going to use if size if lot size smaller than 500 and then the percentage is 0 0.25 which is 25 percent otherwise because we still have two options so otherwise add another if if um, if lot size smaller than uh, this time is 500 650 uh, and uh, it will be 0 0.3 otherwise 0 0.35 bracket bracket so now this is a formula so let's try try this out so 6 if 700 0 0.35 which is correct uh, if it's 600 0 0.3 okay if it's uh, 400 0 0.25 let's check because here if it's 6 for if it's exactly six six fifty, which will be thirty percent or thirty thirty percent, okay six fifty, and it actually goes to here. So instead of thirty, it shows thirty five, which is not correct, and also five hundred thirty. So actually four hundred should be twenty five. So what we to, uh, need to do here is just because it's uh, smaller we just need to add a not bracket larger than 500 same here if not uh, lot size larger than 650 bracket so now let's try again 650 650, 30, 650, 30. Correct. Um, in the 500, become 25%. Okay, so that's it. Okay. So now if I load this into the uh, project, and it will tell me the minimum percentage garden area. So if I type in 650, it tells me 30%. 651, 35, 500, 25, and 501, 30. Okay, so now, um, yeah, and we can uh, actually can just 
add very quickly add another one so we can calculate how much exact um, air, um the garden area area need to be so let's just go um edit family go to family and then I'll just copy this one so I'll move here edit label remove this create a new uh, parameter let's call it um minimum garden area so and then also area instance okay so now this one garden area go here and then minimum garden area and uh, let's look of the uh, unit format so same okay and okay so now what we need to do is just minimum garden area just to um, equals lot size times minimum percentage and okay so now if I load this into the project and it will tell this this family what okay. so this will tell me uh, uh, exactly uh, what's the minimum garden area so like say if it's 800 lot minimum percentage 34% the actual uh, minimum gun area to 80 let's see 600 it's 180 500 125 so you can even build in our actual garden area how much uh, yeah and then it, uh, you can just have a um, yes and no parameter to say are uh, compliant or not compliant but uh, I'll leave it to you so yeah today it's about uh, or this if condition and uh, yeah if um, if you have any question just let me know and uh, okay I'll see you next time